Oh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the I Want to Meet LeBron James podcast. And welcome back, Daniel Delby, to Liverpool. Hello, I'm Eden Hazard. <laughs> yes, that's how I should have said it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Um, Eden Hazard, but it's alias. I'm, I'm an eating hazard. Yeah. <laughs> His alias is an unsuccessful comedian. <laughs> yeah. So, like, nobody will look up this name. <laughs> so, uh, you yeah, like man. being back in the pool? Yeah. So yeah. Far. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Living in a construction site. <laughs> you can't see. I've put this up heavily, but if you look you wanna, around, you want to flip it? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the, this is the, this is the, and pan it's up, pan up, pan up. There we go. Oh, yeah. it's, it's ripped the walls off. <laughs> it's ripped the walls off. The paint. It's like watching paint dry. You made paint drying fun. <laughs> I love that you're like. Can you turn it around? You're like, well, not in the beauty of editing, but with my <laughs> yeah, hand, of yeah. course I can. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, we got the team. We got no Jamie. <laughs> All right, but yeah, um, good to be back. Last time I was here, I broke my dick. So, no further questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the listeners need to know about that. Last time you in Liverpool, you broke your dick. How? Yeah, so I was, I think I was. You slept with an ugly woman and just snapped it yourself. <laughs> the next day, <laughs> oh, don't you do anymore. this to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Oh man! Look I, what you've done! I can't remember. <laughs> it's pretty close. I can't remember. Like I can't remember. Man, I think I was twenty-three, and I primed. May or may not. Was that fat Elby or shredded? Oh, this was on the way to fat. On the way to fat. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think I was fat Elby. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So then I was on some substances that made me horny. Yeah. Boom. And um. Then Which is, uh, tro- chocolate crumb strawberries yeah. for dinner? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, you mean like the class A? Is all right. Yeah. That's, so yeah. Uh, class A MDMA. Because because lasagna gets me good. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. If I get a full feed in me, I want to go on at home and have a wank for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of some of the baby weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut and wait before a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, pulled a bird and went back to hers and like it was feeling pretty good. And was it a student of calm or where was it? Ooh, I think she was of age. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not, like, not like a morning <laughs> no, smell. No, no. no it, it was, was um, calm, no? I think it might have been because it was during freshers. Oh, okay, so, so yeah. I uh, went back to hers and then like I was going like pretty hard and then nearing my completion. Yeah, yeah, nice. It comes out. Fourth quarter. Going, but yeah, putting it over time, go in and then hit the, my, my head went in, but the angle I was on, her pubic bone hit the top of my shaft <sighs> and with my momentum, it ripped where the head and the shaft is. It's no, but it, was it, it caught the bell end and pulled the bell end all the way down. No. It, like broke the band. It caught, no, 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 because I'm circumcised. Yeah. So the head of my dick and the shaft, her pubic bone got there. So my head was already in and I've gone in and it's pushed against my shaft mm. where the head was in and it's split right where the head of my dick and my shaft is yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just split open like a fucking grand canyon jesus christ but, yeah it hurt but it wasn't like it didn't like crack and it wasn't nah, like nah, stuff nah. like that no nah. no nah. nah. but i was nearly gonna come so like i pulled out and like finished on her stomach yeah and then fucking i'm looking and there's still i was like wow there's heaps of juice coming out i can't even feel it and i'm like why is this black juice and i turned around kobe was there um, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like shit yeah, rest in peace um, and then uh, imagine that was a, 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 someone's basketball nickname, yeah. the black jizz. The, the black jizz. He's so slippery out there. The, the black cumba. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I was like, the "Wow, what's jizz. going on here?" And it was just like kept dripping, and we turned the light on, and it was just pumping blood. And then uh, she started screaming, like nearly crying. Yeah. Because it was like it was pretty brutal, man. This one, the light came on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, she saw my face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you get in here? I started crying as well. I was yeah. like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> and then like, I've I've wrapped it up. Bit, I've slept with some ugly women before that I, when I wake up, that's when I put the my mask on. <laughs> <laughs> to leave the house. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and like I wrapped it with tissue paper and fucking like when I woke up. Um, I don't know, actually, she might have kicked me out, man. I can't remember. She was really like traumatized. Yeah, of course. And um, then it's blood all over the place. So she's yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So I got a bit of Dexter, Sexter happening. Sexter. <laughs> and then um, woke up the next morning and like the tissue was all stuck and it fucking, it was like a big gap of like just a big cut, man. Yeah. But your dick heals really quick, man. 
It took about... You didn't go to doctors, not like that, did nah, you? Nah, it took about nine, because I, I was on a flight to Canada the next day. Oh, uh, okay. And then I was there with my cousin. Oh, uh, so that was... Harsh pigs, buddy. He woke me up, like, that night I landed. He... I didn't know at the time because I was so um, naive. Yeah. He's like, oh, I've got these girls coming around and I've like passed out on the couch and I woke up the chick's rubbing her pussy on my face. No way. Yeah. Prostitute? Well, yeah. I didn't yeah, realize yeah, at the okay. time. And he was like, hey, buddy, got some broads. I go, nah, man, like I'm all good. I, I my can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My dick is broken. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> shaft, shaft. <laughs> yeah. um, so, sphincter. Uh, so, I was like, nah, man. He goes, okay, buddy, more for me. And then, like, about eight days later, it was fucking healed up. But, uh, so, what, did it bruise? Did it scar? Did it, it what? Cut open and then... It was almost like a, around there. It was, wasn't a bruise. It was like almost like, like a scab. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. but it healed, like... So quick, man. I nice. reckon, like, we could get... But, I mean, obviously, you didn't have a wank those nine days, did you? Nah. Yeah. No way. Yeah, nah. of course. Yeah. I would have ripped the skin off it, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I, that just re- reminds me, man, there's a rumour. I don't know if it's a rumour, but it's true. There's a face cream, a face cream that's made from foreskin, from young boys' foreskin. What? Yeah. So, maybe that's the link where, like... Um, maybe it's it so maybe, maybe it's Epstein. Garbage. <laughs> 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 I, sure. I don't want to be in this group chat. Take me out of this group chat. Now. This and how's it, my search? Skin, and facial this. cream from from kids foreskins. Jesus Christ! Uh, well, the police are going to be kicking down the door <laughs> in about ten minutes. So yeah, face cream with enjoy foreskin. the pod for now. There we go. Face cream with foreskin. Yeah, it comes up with um, foreskin. That's crazy. Because there was a celebrity that used it. In fact, the active ingredient in the Oprah touted skin cream from Skin Medica Oprah uses, as in Oprah, was yeah, it? yeah, uses foreskin fibroblasts that are used to grow and cultivate new scale, new cells. Just one foreskin is said to be able to grow these cells for decades. The baby foreskin facial is a real thing. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like the worst porn category ever. Yeah. Baby I've heard a million dollar baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this million dollar baby foreskin. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a facial cream. That's not that. Yeah. What's so, it called? Um, doesn't say, but it's also used for skin and face. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't use a pun, <laughs> they're fucking lost. But yeah. if you're not <laughs> putting a pun on that, you're an idiot. It says um, it's also used for to help treat burn victims, help cover diabetic ulcers, and more. The hydrofacial. Funny stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, eh? That's fine. Yeah. Imagine that. You're just fucking coming on a burn victim. What are you doing? I'm just helping you. <laughs> I know, next time, next time a girl doesn't want a face, you're yeah. like, oh, you don't want, you don't want to win these top seven. You don't want to look 10 years younger. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm trying to give you sperm degree burns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get down to brass tags. I would love to talk about it. <laughs> you broken dick and... Baby foreskin, baby foreskin, baby foreskin, baby foreskin. But um, what can you? Because you, you're you're in and out of basketball. Obviously, you watch the big tournaments and the big games and yeah. stuff. Especially well, when I tell you what's a gambler and yes. all that sort of only, stuff. Only for betting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm even watching WNBA for betting. I mean, I'm not watching it, but I'm just putting it on them. I'm winning. For your which is, yeah. Oh, you're winning. Yeah, I've got, I mean, you just bet the under. It's women. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she has twenty. No, yeah. she's not. <laughs> well, she got. Well, she got a period. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, Olympics on that. Olympic starts this weekend. This will be out uh, tomorrow, but it starts this weekend. And then the USA, they, they went five and zero in the showcase for men's basketball, but it hasn't been an easy ride, no, has it? South Sudan, I saw that. South Sudan, and they were down by. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, they down by eight with three minutes or something. Or no, nah, it was pretty much neck and neck the whole game. Well, right, mostly honest, neck yeah. for Sudanese. <laughs> Got the jangles going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a guy there, Gabriel. He used to Gabriel Windy. I don't know where he plays My now. Son but, Gabriel. But he used to play in um, the Lakers like last season, last right. two years. And I think Fingio knows him. Emo knows him. Emo really? the joke. They were on the same like refugee camp wow. when he first came over. No like, like the that. Lakers. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. It's hectic. Um, and then I think it was him that was the interview that said because he's the one with the dreadlocks. He said. We don't even have indoor basketball courts in Sudan. That's crazy, that's isn't crazy, it? That's crazy, eh? Yeah. That's insane. They're like, they rocked up. They're like, what's this? They're like, that's a net. <laughs> like, what the fuck is? You don't just use a, a wicked out basket. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're probably, 
that probably makes them better because they got to allow for the wind and like now they're playing indoors. Oh, of course, oh, be so much easier so much if better. you're shooting on an outdoor. You go indoor, it's like fucking easy yeah. as fuck. There was this movie. Back in the day, a bas- it's technically a basketball movie, but not really. It was called The Air Up There. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, Kevin Bacon? Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. yeah. And the playing barefoot, so yeah. if you give them Nikes, yeah. of course they're going to be better. Yeah. Like, wow. Well, or worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah the yeah. Air Up There. Fuck, I haven't watched that since I was a kid. I know, it's so funny. So, but he gets the, the jumping tribe and turns them into basketballers? Something like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think so. He goes to, like, I don't know, where he's like he a basketball. He's to Africa. He's a, he's a college coach, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And he, maybe he sees a video. Oh, no, he's watching something. And in the background, these African kids are just playing basketball, like, deep in the background of this video. Oh, and he sees them. And he sees them, and he's like, fuck them. Oh, yeah. Talent scout. I know, it's mad, yeah. isn't it? Probably just getting them for their foreskin. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bigger. It's That's better. the Cocoa Butter version. <laughs> of the... <laughs> um, but, yeah, fuck. I would have, um, there was a guy that, the only reason I know is a, a guy posted on TikTok. He had a, the line was 40 points. So he had America over 40 points to win by over 40 Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, if you were to put, like, yeah, the line in between one to nine points, you yeah. would have made a kill one, even for USA to win, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I would have And, like and if bucks. Sudan were the one, like like you said, they had the, they had, it was in the balls in their hand yeah. on game time. Yeah. They missed the last shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Eight imagine seconds. that. Like, even if it didn't mean anything, a showcase, but that would have fucked That would have been the America, biggest yeah. upset in the history of basketball, I reckon. No, nah, there's been some more upsets where it's like... Australia beat the Dream Team. That was a pretty big upset. We beat them. The Dream Team? 92? Uh, well, no, I just call American Team. Oh, Dream okay. team but we beat America. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was in Olympics or a, a practice game, but we beat them. I think it was... Uh, it, you beat us in... They got knocked out in FIBA as well. They beat us. He thinks he's American. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you beat us. Did, well, they beat LeBron, so <laughs> I'm with LeBron, whatever. Well, there's no Great Britain team, is there? Otherwise, I'll be playing. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> now no, but in 2004 they won bronze as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so that, that yeah, I saw there was a probably. controversy that we didn't we didn't include actual NBA listed players for what? for the Aussie team. Did you know? No. There's oh like, really? There's two was... guys that are listed on an NBA list that didn't make our team. Ben Simmons, but his shirt well, he doesn't play. Yeah, and who's the other one? Um, I don't know because I'm not up to it. I'm oh, I think I know you're talking about. He's yeah, like he's, a defender. He's got, a, he's got an afro. He's played yeah. for sixes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matisse Fiebel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't make it. He must be maybe he's injured or something. Or mm. having off season operation or something. I saw that um, the Americans were a bit um, on Twitter. One of them that got left out was pretty like was throwing a little bit of flames on on it. Who got left? A few people he got, got left, left out, out and, he, and he put on Twitter. He was like, "Really? They're going with this guy." Instead of him. Really? Yeah. I don't know that one. Because um, there was a few now. players that missed out. There's that guy, Trey, L- um, I think it's Lyles, he's the sprinter. And it came out like last year and he was like, world champions or what? Did you see that? It went viral. It was an American sprinter. And he always, he's sick, he's in the Olympics now. He always has a Yu-Gi-Oh card. So when he wins, he pulls out a Yu-Gi-Oh card <laughs> out of his finger. He's like, kisses it. It's like a the same one or different shiny. ones. Different ones, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, no. Yeah. Black people and nerds, you And um, And he was, he, he was like saying, how can you call, NBA, how can you call this of the world champions yeah. when you're in America? You know yeah. what I mean? He went same as in basketball. Yeah. 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 So, um, American NBA player, this is out. He was hell salty, eh? Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown. Brown. Oh, yeah. Well, he just won his Nike. finals MVP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Well, because Nike was... Because Nike was... don't need him. Nike was sponsoring. He reckons it's got something to do with Nike. I Keeping mean, him from a role. Yeah, kind of, to be honest. Because Kawhi Leonard t- withdrew and they were expecting him to go. Yeah, in. but Derek White, like, like Greg Pop- Pop- Popovich, the coach, just loves Derek yeah, White. Right. So, yeah. Joe's brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gig with Joe actually over in um, Melbourne at the How's he doing? For the first time. Yeah, it was just super just calm, chill. Yeah. So it was only for one night. Nice. And then I'm, I, a, yeah, I'm a bit upset he didn't come because he hung out enough last year and he's just good to live with, you know yeah. what I mean? There's no stress, is there? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> and then even with his missus there, you barely saw them, you know yeah. what I mean? It was like, not yeah. that it's like of, of a night, you know what I mean? It's fucking, I'm, I'm there, but. I'm not you don't get back till four AM every night. I know. So. And then in between shows, in between it. shows, I'm like running around. I mean, I wake up at three PM the next yeah. day, don't I? But I love this shit, don't I? Mm. I love this shit. I Olympics. love this game. It's your Olympics. Riffs in the veins. <laughs> um, it is Riff Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> what else should we go talk about? Well, how long have we done? Well, it? You were saying raw dog before. Have you seen that new trend 
about guys raw dog and flights. Raw dog and flakes? Yeah. What do you mean raw dog and flakes? You try to fuck the air hostess? No. Nah. Um, <laughs> raw dog and flights, like, they take no headphones, oh. no nothing, and they just stare at the flight map. What's the point of that? I done it once last November. It was when a purpose, or you just forgot? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, Anna died, so she got sick, and I had to fly back from America, didn't I? And um, and then I found out right before she, I was getting on the plane that she died. So I was just sat there for like just nine hours, at the flight just map. staring at the thing. <laughs> just you being like, baby, baby, <laughs> just bang, bang. And let's see, bro. But I didn't need to. I was just like, I didn't know what to do. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like, my life was over. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so that was like by default, yeah. uh, well, by accident, or by grief. Called, by grief. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. in the air up there. Like, I couldn't be like, oh, let me, let's put on succession. <laughs> you know, no, no, let's, all oh, right, big bang fairy, this is really going to be hilarious now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that was fucking shit. Yeah. But yeah, fuck that. I've had to raw dog some flights before where... Ryanair. Yeah, like shit like that. <laughs> yeah. But even then, like now, it's, well, now you can't even raw dog it because you've got Netflix on your phone, you've got yeah, podcasts. Yeah, 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 Like, I remember, like, back in the day when it was, like, Scoot Airlines, phone's dead, proper raw yeah. dog, and then, yeah. it sucks, eh? Yeah. But I don't see the point. What's the benefit out of it? You just look cool to your friends on social media. You're but then you could just you're lie real, and be real. like, you could just lie and be like, exactly, oh, yeah. lying there, lying there. <laughs> <laughs> <Lying air. laughs> fucking, they are. Uh, I don't know. You That's, liked Ryan Air? Did he give yeah, you? They were on Yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah, I did my work. Most of them, they screwed in. You can't even pull them down anymore. Fuck. Yeah, it's crazy. That's weird. I know. Fuck flight Fuck. risk. You know. gotta pay to unscrew it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, that's an extra charge. You gotta hope you, 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 gotta hope you let, <laughs> sit next to a carpenter. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not eating. You want a table? That's a five euro extra. <laughs> <laughs> so they charge you for fucking everything, man. That's crazy. Do you um, wanna do this test? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll do the test. What is it? You have chlamydia. <laughs> God damn it. You are not the father. That was quick. I only spanned your mouth an hour ago. <laughs> Raw dog. Um, so I'm going to ask you some questions. We're going to do a psychology test. Boom. And this will tell us a little bit about you. But just okay. go with your first thing. Don't overthink it. Just yeah. whatever you think. Um, so the psychology. So, psycho- so what's it proven at the end? It's going to tell me what. It'll tell you what different people mean to you in your life. Okay. Boom. So obviously, we well, you know who's going to be your jizz tell. Yeah. LeBron. Yeah, of right? course. Yeah. Who makes you Thank hungry? God you didn't say Nan. I thought you meant like the love of your life. But that's what I was going to say. I was going to be like Nan. Yeah. So you're going for a walk through a forest. Who are you walking with? Do you have to close my eyes or I'm just no, you uh, Who are you walking with through this forest? Well, I know you're not walking alone. <laughs> <We're> walking <laughs> alone. But I mean, my dream, anybody? Just imagine you're walking through a forest. You see yourself walking through. But it's not somebody that I know. Yeah, yeah. It could be LeBron. It could be LeBron if you want to. LeBron then, yeah, of course. Whoever comes to mind. This yeah. is your... Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, you come across an animal. What kind of animal is it? It's a lion. A lion. You come across this lion. What does the lion do? Um, it it roars, but in like a greeting and then joins us. A raw us. dog. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, how does it... <laughs> <laughs> how does, what was it, Ryan? How was it, Ryan? Clip this up. Clip this <laughs> up. <laughs> Like that, but well, it wasn't like a faggot about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, like Narnia. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you spot a house in the forest. How big is the house, and does it have a fence? So describe this house. What, oh yeah, the, 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 what the, kind of house is it? It's a, it's a mansion. Well, it's, it's LeBron's holiday home. It's a mansion. And, so, and, um, so it has a fence it, or not? Just defense. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have, have a fence. It doesn't have a, It has a fence around the basketball court, so the basketball so the uh-huh. basketball doesn't roll away. But there's no fence now. Okay. You walk up and you see the door open. You enter and you see a table. Describe what's on the table. Um, Luke's Ed Sports. Let's okay. get ready to play. And um, tacos. Tacos? LeBron loves tacos, yeah. I don't care what LeBron likes. Okay. okay what, what, do you, what do you see? Oh, Is that it, what you it, see it, on the it, table? It's Greg's. It's I Greg's. Greg's. Yeah, oh, I see okay. Greg's. Um, you leave the house through the back door. <laughs> Classic. Obviously. Uh, you find a cup in the garden. What is the cup made out of? Um, wood. And what do you do with the cup? Um, I flip it over like flip cup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just As you cup. walk to the end of the garden, you find a body of water. What kind of body of water is it? A pond, a lake, a river? It's a pool, isn't it? Yeah. Pool? Yeah. Cool. You must cross this water in order to get home. How wet do you get? 
I every, everything but my hair. I'm press struck like an old lady, so I don't get my hair wet. All right, these are the answers. The person you are walking with is the most important person in your life. Well, that checks out immediately. <laughs> that checks out immediately. Maybe this is the way you meet him. You just tell him your psychology test. That's so funny. Then you baby reindeer him. Yeah. Uh, the size of the animal you come across is a representation of the size of your problems. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you have a lion size. That was a penis. <laughs> Uh, if the animal's actions were more severe, it means you tend to be more aggressive. If it was peaceful, they're more passive. It's said hello. So. Oh, okay. That's yeah. true. I'm passive. The right. size of the home is a representation of the size of your ambition. Mansion. Mm. Love that. Yeah. A mansion, Love that. Mansion dragons. Yeah. Um, if there was no fence around the home, it means you tend to be more open. Oh, baby. But yeah. well, I don't let anybody play basketball with me, though. <laughs> yeah, As yeah. you know, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, if what you saw on the table wasn't food, people, or flowers, it indicates some unhappiness. So we had Greg's and Lucas' ideas. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Mine was... On a side dish. <laughs> <laughs> um, how durable the cup you found was representative of how strong your relationship is with the person in the first part of the story. So you had wood with LeBron. Would have been the first time LeBron's given you wood. <laughs> What you do with it is representative of your attitude towards them. You flipped. You want to flip? Could I want to fuck them like this? And I want to flip both and fuck them like this? Um, if, no, but when you when you said cough, my mind just went to um, Indiana Jones, the, the Temple of Doom. No, 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 the um, the one where you die. Th- no, the one where he drinks the Fountain of Youth. That one. Yeah, I can't remember what movie that is. Holy Grail, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Holy it Grail, is, yeah. yeah, Holy Grail. Um, I, I thought mine was a steel cup, but I can't remember who the first person. I think first person was my mate Yoni. Um, yes. Another black guy. Boom. Yeah. Uh, the size of the body of water is related to the size of your intimate desires. You just have a pool full. That's good. Yeah. I don't know. I would have thought yours was an ocean, but um, if you had a large body of water to cross, it indicates that intimacy is important to you. If not. It may mean it's less important. Thank fuck. All right, well, I got that <laughs> right, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, that's a uh, psychology test. That's not. Good How test. much do you reckon those are right, man? I reckon they're bullshit, eh? I mean, they're all genetic answers, yeah. aren't they, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you, you hear what you want to hear. Same with the star signs. You're yeah. like, they're so vague yeah. that you're like, well, I guess that's me. I know, well, let's yeah. see what you're... What are you? Um, what do you mean? What? What's your star sign? Uh, cancer. Okay. Free daily horoscope for today. Oh, boom. Nice. So... Yours is get your broom out. Oh, hey, that's crazy. <laughs> we just cleaned. Yeah, get your broom out of the closet today. Well, and your rest of you out the closet. Cancer, your, job, only in there, love. <laughs> your job is to brush away the cobwebs from you have hit a paywall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the last part, but all right. that's fair. I think it's paywall. Yeah, I'd be able to do the paywall uh, to brush away the cobwebs from the corners of your emotional bedroom. Use the transformative energy of the day to say goodbye to stale and unsatisfactory relationships that have left a bad taste in your mouth. That'll be any girl you've been with. <laughs> and ignore the ignite the fire of a new situation and consciously try to establish new habits so that old patterns don't continue to repeat. You deserve to know what's going on with your love life. Discover the answers you need with a psychic love reading. Oh my lord, that's how they oh, get you. Fuck yeah. that. If I want to call a sex line, I'll do it on my own time. <laughs> <laughs> I call it lifeline. That's it. <laughs> Just jerking off. They can oh, call it up yeah. to yeah. <laughs> um, So let's, l- last question. Lifeline. Most important one. What is um, ways I can meet LeBron? Last time I had you on the pod, I think you married me to LeBron. Yeah. Well, it's figurine right. anyway. Pl- dry run. We've done a dry run as, yeah. your, as your priest. And it was wet um, Celebrate priest, whatever, rabbi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, do you, what have you got for me today? I think you need to set up, potentially the way to do it is to set up a social media trend where it's like Ooh. something, like do something like LeBron, like fit, do something he does and start the trend so everyone else is doing it and they'll figure out that you were the one that started it. Nice. And then, it, then you'll get to do it with him. Yeah. Yeah, like if he has like a trademark, whatever. whatever like Carl does. Porter with the slow-mo stuff and yeah. all that, yeah. Yeah, and that would be a way... To get every all the traction would would go. Around. Well, there's a guy called Max Nice. He copies like people's celebrations and how yeah. they play and how they run. Yeah, he's a white dude and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's like I guess I could do or, that. I mean, I've already got the celebrations down. Not a lot, obviously. Who's his ex? He doesn't have one. His high school sweethearts with Savannah. That's your way in. What? 
figure out where she's at. Do no, gig- that's not his axe. That's his current wife. That's fine. Do yeah. gigs wherever yeah. she is. Fly her. Just so she keeps seeing, ah, oh, comedy, Carl Legacy, then oh, yeah, everywhere yeah. she is, just do it. And then yeah. let's go to a comedy night. And even if she doesn't go with him, you'll meet her because she'll love your stuff. Yeah. And then you can mention, oh, I've been trying to meet LeBron. I got a podcast. Well, I mean, at the end, I would say, if anyone knows a comedy, add me on Instagram. Oh, yeah, I yeah. would even say, if anybody oh, yeah, yeah, knows yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad idea, actually, yeah. yeah. Or just go for I feel s- like Savannah doesn't go many places without she's got a podcast oh, apparently lion, actually. savannah she's got a that's where the lion lives oh yeah, yeah savannah that's true what's yeah. a podcast called i'm married to lebron james podcast I think so, yeah. <laughs> no oh man no i think she was just guesting on one or something yeah, like that. Right. but she's slamming or a, a strategy would be instead of aiming for lebron aim for the 19th player on the team meet them make them max christie yeah then they'll like you and then yeah. you work like a whore Work your way through the team to the top. That's that, that's pretty good. I mean, I just I, I don't think you realize how how hard it is to meet a Laker and like be friends with the Lakers. You know yeah. what I mean? They're still the nineteenth guy. Fuck. He's still busting every everybody's ass. Yeah, he's still like on millions. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, have you watched um my uh, Bowfinger? Eddie yeah, so, I don't know. Show the Laker girls my wee wee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, Try that. That's so funny. <laughs> Laker <laughs> girls, yeah. Laker yeah. girls. <laughs> with the guy, whenever you're watching him, like when you watch NBA through the league pass, it doesn't have a lot of the adverts and stuff, you know what I mean? Because there's no TV rights. And it shows you the Lakers dancing. And it's the creepiest guy. I don't know how he's kept this job. He's the announcer, and he always just goes, Laker girls. But it's I'll show you that after this. It's horrible the way he's well, I'm like, how's he got a job? Maybe yeah. that's your way. You know? I, I, could, I could say it less. You could... You could my only problem is you hear me lick my lips as a <laughs> make a girl, you know what I mean? And they're like, why is it so slobbery up there? <laughs> why is his yeah. hand on his dick? Yeah. Uh, well, I've given you three ways. I love that. Sorry. My favourite is show my dick to the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I think that's going to not help me meet LeBron, but I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right? Or keep keep entering all the halftime competitions. Yeah. So you're well, that's why I want, when I want fan of the game, I was there. So he's, he's definitely seen my face. Uh, he at least knows what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Or... Yeah. Offer him some foreskin cream. Oh, that'll boom. stick out straight from the source. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not Jewish. Too much skin the game. Oh, <laughs> straight from the source. <laughs> um, uh, give me an Instagram at Daniel Delby and uh, Sunday singles. Um, no, nah, just at Daniel Delby. At Daniel Delby, and if you like them, want to listen to more. The Hardy Arns podcast is yeah. one of the biggest podcasts in Australia. That's uh, correct. Hardy Arns podcast. And hey, this is Daniel Delby. I've been the king, obviously. Carl Legacy, <laughs> add me, LeBron James, a comedy. I'll be in Edinburgh. We'll both be in Edinburgh this yeah. um, August for the home home. So come check us out there. In a bit, nice one. Bonjour. Au revoir. <laughs>